guys, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tara, this is Sheldon, and I don't know what this is called yet. <laughs> All I know is it's Wednesday, and we're going to be reviewing movies on Wednesdays. <laughs> Our theme for this month is New Year's, so that, that was very hard to pick out, it was. which I went through. Very hard to get New Year's ones. Mm -hmm. um, we have settled on two Hulu Into the Dark episodes, which are full-length movies. And two movies that we haven't seen. Now, the only thing we've seen is this one. And this is the Hulu Into the Dark episode called New Year, New You. Which I kept calling New Year, New Me. But it's New Year, New You. And when you think about it, it's the name of it, like... Mm, it's new something. Mm -hmm. um, this was directed by Sophia Takel. And it stars Suki Waterhouse, who is awesome. And Carly Chaikin, she's also awesome. So this is four girls... Our high school best friends, they get together for a girls' night on New Year's, but, you know, past history comes up, and things get fucked up real fast. <laughs> it's just really tense. It's past history, past trauma. Past trauma, like... a lot of shit that goes down. <laughs> One of the girls, whose name is, you're better at the names, the influencer. Oh, Danielle? Danielle. Yeah. Danielle is an influencer, and... Uh, what's the other girl's name? Alexis. Alexis I got one. Yes. That's Suki Waterhouse. She is her best friend who knows a secret about her and is very bitter about it. <laughs> very much so. <laughs> and like... rightfully so. Danielle is a piece of shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they all get together and they all know the secret, really. And they're trying to get her to confess to it because now she is famous for being like, oh, it's very much like Sissy. Did it? Yes. It is very much yes. like Sissy. I was trying to think, and that's, yeah. Yeah, it is very much like Sissy. She's an influencer now. However, she was a bully in the past, and because of her bullying, um, somebody did unalive themselves, and this is what they're trying to purvey. Like, she's not who she really, who she's saying she she's is online. Not this, like, she's a piece of shit. Exactly. <laughs> So this goes wild. This goes wild, way wild. But um, I have to say, it feels like a wine mom thriller yeah. to it me. Does. I kept saying that last night. It feels like something like the girl in the window, or I don't know the names of these movies, but they all have the girl in the something, mm. the girl on the train, the girl in the window, the woman next door, the, the like this kind of thing where it's like you're waiting and waiting. You don't know what's true. You don't know what's not true. You don't know who's crazy, who's... Exactly. Uh, it's just a tense thriller. It's not like a full-on slasher, even though it do turn into kind of that. Yeah. It's more of like a, a tense cat and mouse type thing through the house. And the ending is real fun, and it has a very similar ending to Sissy. Yes. It's just yes. kind of um, flipped reverse. Kind of turns Sissy on its head. And this came out, obviously, long before Sissy did. This was a couple years ago. This is... Well, the numbers they have are... 2019, so yes. <laughs> this is like New Year's 2019. So uh -uh. the uh, the influence goes nuts, <laughs> absolutely nuts. Uh, they tie her up. They try to get her to confess. This doesn't work. There is one of the girls named Chloe, who's the bigger girl, who I felt bad for because mm -hmm. I'm a bigger girl. She's easily manipulated by telling her that, you know. I'll get people to like you. I'll put you on my show and all this stuff. Daniel was just giving her all this oh, praising and praising yes. and praising gaslighting. Yes, the and gaslighting love was bombing, like, oh way God, major, love bombing. major love bombing. Major, like, major love bombing. Like, and oh the dialogue in this is real good. Like mm -hmm. they talk like people talk to each yes. other. I know a lot of people yeah. might not think so, mm -hmm. but like no, they do. Like their <laughs> little pointed remarks and everything. The quick dialogue, mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, it was obviously written by a woman about women, so... <laughs> so, she made, like, the director, maybe she had similar experiences. Maybe, like, yeah. You never know. So. But, like, we've all dealt with bullies. I know I have. <laughs> I Up have to, my so. adulthood, so... <laughs> um, what else? What else? This turns when um, Alexis takes it a little too far. They tie up Danielle, mm -hmm. and they're trying to scare her into admitting on camera what she did. However, then um, Alexis takes it a little bit too far, and she and what's the other girl's name? I'm, Kayla. Kayla. She and Kayla branch off, trying, you know, 
gather things together because she cuts off a bit of her hair and I think she like cuts her head in the process. Yeah, cuts a bit of the skin off. A little bit of the skin off in the Mm -hmm. process. And they go to chill while Danielle manipulates Chloe Chloe into helping her. She gets right. They lock them in a sauna. Yeah. They lock um, Alexis and and Kayla Kayla in a sauna Mm -hmm. and they're just going to wait for her to die. Then they die. Like, it's it's really creepy Mm -hmm. in that way. Like, how calm and collected and calculate it Danielle is. Do you know this movie, or movie, sorry. Uh, it is a movie. Uh, it, it technically is. They but, are movies. Yeah. Yeah. But this gives me unfriended feeling too. It has a feeling like, of unfriended, of like, friend group with a secret type thing, mm-hmm. and one of them is a lot more responsible for something than they're letting on to be. Yeah. Nope, this goes crazy. This doesn't have a lot of graphic deaths. This, no. Then there's only three, four people that die in it. Yeah. Obviously. And I'm not going to give away who survives, but it's really fun what happens oh, after the they survive. Oh, the ending is fun. It's, it is really fun. It's like it's a really good twist. Like, <laughs> I see what you did there, yeah. type thing. It's mm-hmm. funny. So yeah, no, this was really good. It's uh, it's not like action packed slasher type thing. It's not your gore. No, no. This is not going to be a gore fest. Only four people die, and they die like violently but realistically. It's not like you terrify her or nothing. We got someone hits their head on a sink. Someone falls down the stairs, someone gets stabbed, and the someone fa- falls out a window. Yeah. So most of the deaths could almost be accidental, but the first one is. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so that, not much I'm going to say about it. It's really good. I gave it a 7.5. You gave, gave it, it an eight. 8. Just because it wasn't as, you know, I like a little bit more over the top than this, <laughs> but it was really tense. Like, it um, really is interesting. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And your favorite kill? My favorite kill is Chloe falling down the stairs. Both of us have yeah. Chloe falling down the stairs because... Because of the fact, like, it, it, she just... Um, C- crumples. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, you see her falling down the stairs and you feel it. And Danielle was the one that was... She's the one that pushed her. Well, she pushed her in front of her because uh, Alexis swung a golf club at her and she pushed Chloe in front of her. And Chloe got the golf club and went right yeah, there. Yeah, right, right, sorry. So, you know, Danielle's still a bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. But this whole movie is all about just bullying and tense relationships, specifically female relationships. Danielle is a really scary character. Yes. Because of the fact that that scene when she was sitting in the chair mm-hmm. and she was looking at Chloe, she had all that, like, makeup and stuff on It was so scary, man. And she looked like, like nothing happened. That's yes, the way she she's like, very calculated. She's such a, like she's almost like a sociopath yeah. or something, mm. and she has all this power over young kids. And that's the problem that uh, Alexis had. Is like, well, you're here telling these kids how to live their life mm-hmm. when you're the one that bullied our friend to the point that she killed herself. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> this is not right. Like when when I thought about it first, I thought that Alexis. She was the bad. Yes, well, she is. Alexis yes. is not good. Alexis is traumatized and is completely nuts as well, but in a completely opposite mm-hmm. way. Danielle was crazy to begin with. It's, it's Alexis that. was drove to this. Yes, it's just the fact that they had to pretty much beat it out of Danielle. Oh, yeah. Well, no, yeah. She's a sociopath anyway. Mm-hmm. She's going to be number one no matter what. Unless you stop her exactly. in a violent way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, check this one out if you like tense that like. If you're not so much into, like, really tense psychological stuff, if that makes you uncomfortable, which you do for a lot of people, you probably should steer away from this one, but it's it's real fun to watch, and you're just waiting for that shoe to drop, mm-hmm. because it doesn't get started for a while. It's just them talking for the very long time, yep. but it's very tense, and you're waiting for somebody to snap, exactly. and you're not 100% sure who's going to snap first. Right. Like, you know Alexis is the one that's there to get Danielle, but you might, Danielle might snap first because she's starting to get to the edge and you're just, you're just waiting and waiting. So definitely check it out if that's your thing. If you like the more tense thriller type movies, definitely check it out. It's Hulu. It's probably still on Hulu. Into the Dark. Mm -hmm. Um, I wish they had to make more of these because I really, really love the series. It's just a series of movies. A A lot of people really hate them because they're like, Cheesy Blumhouse things, but see, I love cheesy Blumhouse things, so see, I love Puka. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Puka is an icon to me. <laughs> Basically, Into the Dark is like long episodes of Tales from the Crypt in a way. That or Masters of Horror. Masters of Horror, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I do have, which we might do at some point. Yeah. Masters of Horror. But anyway, that's enough for this one. Uh, 
I will, I will see you on Friday for Freak Show's Forgotten Films. We're coming back with Freak Show Forgotten Films. Coming back. And I'm excited because I get to film I'll, that. <laughs> we will be back next week. Yes, we will be back next week. Um, I don't know if I told you this. Uh, Tuesday Top Tuesday is over. Okay. But Horror Man has said that he's going to start a new one. Mm. And we will be joining awesome. in for that too. Yeah. More than likely. <laughs> so I will see you on Friday. And otherwise, we both will see you next week. Bye. Bye.